Hello, hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to create split delays in Nuendo. So just to remind you, a split delay is a mono delay where you have the dry signal on either the left or the right side, and you have the delay signal on the other side. So in this case, we have a lead guitar. Let's go ahead and check to see how it sounds without any kind of delay or any kind of effects. Cool, sounds like a good guitar. So let's go ahead and create a split delay so we can make this guitar sound much more wider to take much more of the stereo dimension. The first thing that we're gonna wanna do is create an effects track. And we wanna set the effect to a mono delay. And we could use Nuendo's stock plugin called Mono Delay. And the configuration should be set to mono and your output should be set to stereo out or whatever output that you're using in your session. I like to usually have my effects outside the folder just so I can always see them when I create them. And then let's go ahead and title this split. Usually when I title the split delay, I like to indicate which side that the split's gonna be on. So in this case, we're gonna make it to the right side. And let's go ahead and hit add track. Now, let's go ahead and configure the split delay so it works for us. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and take the filters off Let's go ahead and set our delay time, which is in the millisecond. So we have to take off this sync and we have to make sure that we set our milliseconds. Let's just try 30 milliseconds. And then our feedback should be set pretty low and our mix should be all the way wet. Once we set our split delay, let's go ahead and send our lead guitar to the split delay track that we have over here. So in order to do that, toggle the lead guitar, go to sends and send the lead guitar to the split delay. Cool, let's go ahead and turn it on. And let's not forget to pan the guitar to our left side and pan the split delay to our right side. And now we can check out how it's gonna sound. Nice, so it sounds much more wider and much more bigger and it's taking up much more of the stereo dimension. You can go ahead and play around with the delay time the further out you go, the more wider it's gonna get, but you don't wanna make the delay sound like it's an echo. You always wanna remain within the fusion zone so it doesn't actually sound like a delay. Anyways, I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you.